How's it going? Yeah. Awesome. I'm Miao from Raccoons. Um, today I'm going to share with you about Jupiter and how we want to grow the pie together. Right? Um, so quick show of hands. How many of you know Jupiter? Wow, awesome. That's great. <laughs> Woo! Easy. OK, awesome. So um, you know, last year breakpoint, things are great now, right? But last year breakpoint, everything was melting down, right? Everyone was asking us, hey, are you guys leading, right? Um, and then, um, you know what? Obviously, we didn't. And we said, fuck it, right? We doubled down, right? And uh, woo! In fact, in fact, in fact, we did way more than double down, right? You know, we, we committed to building um, you know, the best possible decentralized trading system on Solana, right? And so and that, that's what we're doing, right, for the whole 2023. Uh, we, we developed a whole new uh, world-class routing engine. We developed a whole new set of products. And we did two major iterations of developer tools. And I think as a result of all the intensive work, I think most people agree that you know, we are the best aggregating crypto. And on top of the aggregation, we built several like, really great SOAP products, right? SOAP, Limit Order, and DCA. And we also the liquidity infrastructure for Solana. We offer a full set of APIs, um, key SDKs for key verticals, and also plug and play for you to easily um, put into Jupyter into your product. Um, and we are one of the most used um, services in DeFi today. We process about 35 billion of volume, about 100 million transactions so far, and then about 950 K wallets have interacted with our Jupyter. And we are the most used um, DEX on Solana, meaning that most traders have come to Jupyter on a daily basis to trade, right? And then also the most used service on Solana as well. And uh, the, major the vast majority of retail flow goes through Jupyter. Um, we are also the most integrated platform. So most um, wallets, um, DeFi applications, and systems, or uh, websites, or games even, use uh, Jupyter one way or the other. Um, so um, I want to share with you a little bit about what our core anchors are right, at Jupyter. Um, the first one is um, the Juke promise. Right? And that is it's just very simple, right? best price best token selection, and best UX for users and developers. And I mean, you know, markets go up and down, right? You know, and things come and go, right? But I think um, if you keep on doing this day in, day out, I think there's always a very um, you know, um, key role for us in the ecosystem. Secondly, so I think we want to push the tanker limits of Solana, right? Because I mean, Solana is really powerful, right? But what use is a powerful car if you can't use it? Right? So um, what we do is that so we're the first to adopt um, the key Solana features, including local tables, which is really important for composability, uh, priority fees for congestion, and token 20, a new token standard. So in all these cases, we're the first to not just implement them, but actually adopt them to the user, and actually let, let the majority of users actually use it, right? even without them knowing. Um, and the third thing we do is that like, um, you know, we, we work really hard right, to improve the liquidity landscape in Solana. So um, you know, Solana is very powerful. right? So you have all kinds of new liquidity stuff, like Centum, Phoenix, Open book, right? And all the good stuff, right? That can, there's nowhere else. So, in many, many cases, we look at them way before they actually launch to make sure that the moment they hit the market, they're dead, right? They get retail flow right away. And we think that's actually really important, right? For um, you know, improving the innovation landscape in, in Solana. Uh, of course, on the other side, we also work to make sure that any liquidity needs our partner have, they, we, we, we support that as well. Um, so, I want to share with you a few examples of our product, right? That we think, um, you know, um, demonstrate this core. Uh, anchors well. So um, this Matis is the most advanced routing in DeFi. So what Matis does is one thing, right? You know, it's really good at finding you the best price, right? Going across all the markets and finding the best price, regardless of whether it's 20 cents or 100, 1, 1 million, right? We don't care. And Solana is really powerful because nowhere else can you operate, do such a transaction, right? You know, for a 20 cent transaction, no way. But in Solana, easy peasy, right? Um, the second thing about Solana is actually really fast. Right? It's like, you know, broad terms are 400 milliseconds, right? <laughs> Compared to 14 seconds. So, um, you know, we, so Matis runs at a near real time to update the markets and the routing and backend, such that, like, you know, um, to keep up with Solana. And the third thing is that, like, you know, um, Solana is one big multi state machine. And I don't think people actually understand how important that is, because that means that all the programs, all the tokens, all the games, all the users are on one chain. And it's amazing, because that actually means that as time goes by, the utility, of Solana, the utility for Solana increases. Right? And the US gets better, right? Because well, everything's on chain. You can execute one single atomic transaction across everything. Compared to those, um, you know, if your blockchains are fragmented, it will be like going to a new internet every time you want to visit a new website. Right? It's very painful, right? So and then the, the US for other chains go down. Right? But of course, right, if you have the more um, the more um, things you have on the chain, the, the bigger the computation space, right? So you actually need a routing engine that, is, that stays performant and can scale exponentially. And yeah, that's Matis. So Matis is a very foundational technology for Jupyter, right? And like page rank for Google, you know? And then, uh, you know, I th we think it will serve like, Jupyter really well for the years to come. And yeah, if you're interested, there's a really awesome Breakpoint talk 
by my very talented teammates. Uh, they, they will talk in two hours, so check it out. All right. So um, next, uh, the next one, um, you know, the next example I'll show you is, uh, you know, I, I think it's a really good example of composability. Is uh, this one, right? It's like you can go from like whether you're doing one so or hundred so or million so, it doesn't matter, right? You can actually um, go from um, so to six so or the reverse easily, right? And that's because um, Jupyter integrates not just the AMMs and CROBs, but also allows you to integrate um, directly stick the thing all in one transaction, right? And thanks to an amazing uh, integration by Sanctum, um, uh, no, the other way works too, right? Um, and by the way, uh, big shout out to Buffalo for the amazing tweet, yeah. Um, so this is actually really important because it unlocks LST adoption, right, by a trader, because you know you can go to and fro extremely easily at the best price, atomically, right? And also, obviously, it also makes it much easier for DeFi protocols to adopt as well. Um, next, you know, we build a bridge comparator to make it super easy for the, to build it in into Solana, right? So it compares the best trade between different bridges. Um, well, and there's no way out, only in. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Too bad. OK, anyway, uh, OK, so also this morning we also announced that we are going to support native USDC on Solana. Um, basically, um, when, when CCTV launches, we are going to allow users to directly bridge into Solana, right, natively on Jupyter itself, right? So we think that'd be great. And so it's powered by Wonghole and Circle, obviously. Yay, hey, come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> Liquidity, yeah! Uh, anyway, uh, one important thing for me is the Jupyter Developer Week last week, right, where every week we release a uh, a, a update, right? You know, so um, the so API, Jupyter for payments, Jupyter for games, uh, Jupyter Terminal V2, all those things are really awesome. Check it out if you're a developer, right? Um, and you know, I, I want to showcase an example here called Jupyter Terminal, right? Uh, basically, it's awesome because like you, you press a few buttons, the code changes, and you and play, you copy and paste the website, and there you go, the best swap experience on your website, right? For a few clicks, you know how awesome is that, right? And then, um, so big shout out to Dixon my, for my team, uh, because I promised him I'll show this, so I did. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so, so what's next, right? So, so what is next for us, right? So now that we completed this, all these sort of things, so what's next, right? Um, so, um, you know, it, it's quite simple for us, right? When it helps Solana grow, right? AKA grow the Solana pie. And why do I do grow Solana pie? Because, you know, if the pie grows, then everyone gets pie, right? You know, I get pie, you get pie, totally gets pie, my mom gets pie, right? <laughs> right? So we're happy, right? You know, all the pie. Uh, and on the most serious note, I mean, we are one of the leading platforms on Solana. So if Solana grows, you know, we grow too, right? It's no, it's no brainer. So what does it actually mean to grow the Solana pie, right? It means, well, more users, right? More great tokens, more use cases, more capital on chain. Because capital on chain is infinitely more productive and safe, right? Than capital off chain, right? Or start some changes, right? Capital off chain doesn't do anything for us, guys. Doesn't, right? We need capital on chain and use it, right? To stake it, to, um, to use it, to lend it, to buy coins, whatever, right? But we need capital on chain, right? That's important. Um, so, Jupyter does help, right? So, um, today we're really happy to announce three key um, ecosystem initiatives, right? So, the first one is something that actually, honestly, um, long time coming, right? <laughs> um, you know, since we launched Jupyter two years ago, people are asking, when, 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 right? Hey. And then we've always been saying, soon, soon, soon. <laughs> so, after sooning for two entire years, right, I'm really happy to share that Jupe is now. <laughs> Woo! Come on, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, everyone. Okay, awesome. Yay. Let's go. All right, so why now, right? So why now? So for the first reason why now is because I think finally, finally, right, we have a long-term and high-linkage user base, right? And, and it's not just engaged. So we, we went through adversity, right? They saw all the bugs, you know, they saw all the crashes and everything. And it's really important. It's not just for Jupyter. I think every project before they launch a token, right, they should have a user base, a community that went through shit with them. You know, I think it's very important. And we didn't have that the first, the first cycle. No, we didn't have that, right? So I want to make sure that this time around we have it, right? Uh, and second round, obviously, we wrapped up a whole set of like, major platform upgrades. And so we feel extremely ready to take on new challenges, right? Um, the least that, you know, there's a whole pipeline of like, ecosystem projects that want to work together with everyone on. Yeah. And last but not least, I think we, we, we think 2024 is the year for the Solana ecosystem, right? And for real this time, you know, right? Um, and, 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 and it's not because of the pump, guys. You know, right? We've been working on this for a long time. <laughs> um, yeah, but, but we think uh, the time is soon, and we want to be helpful, right, to help grow the ecosystem. OK, so Jupe is the governance token for Jupyter. It will govern all the key tokenomics, right, in, uh, including deal liquidity, emission plans, uh, sanction key token means, right, you know, and vote for key ecosystem initiatives, right? Um, and then uh, components, 40% community growth, or for us, airdrop. Airdrop! 
All right, let's go. And the token sale, lock token sale, and 40% for the team and strategic reserve. It'll be vested and locked, so everyone gets pie first, you know, right? Yeah. OK, um, launch phases. The first phase will be um, the two rounds of airdrop and token sale. It will be for establishing a really important like, um, base. Right, you know, and the DAO form, and the DAO can work together to figure out when to launch a token, right? Because it is not just my token, right, or your token, right? It's our token. So let's figure out how to do it together, you know. Um, so all right, so the community airdrop will be for current users and community of Jupiter. It will be probably crypto's like largest organic airdrop with 950k users who actually used it before, right? It will be extremely focused on users, right, who actually have been consistent throughout this very difficult two years, right? And at this point in time, I want to say to the community and users, like, you know, thank you so much. Um, we talked about the Juke promise earlier, right? But the Juke promise is not possible, right? If you guys didn't, you know, uh, uh, tolerate all our downtimes, give us all the feedback, right? And give us shit <laughs> when we did something wrong. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I think, uh, and also, uh, obviously, share us, um, promote us on Twitter, right, towards our friends. So thank you so much um, for all your help. And like, we are really, really excited to work with you through on the next phase, right, of Jupiter. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the next question that a lot of people in the live stream are probably wondering is like, what's the criteria, right? So over here is where I think uh, I want to share something, right? I don't think this is not my airdrop, it's our airdrop, right? So I don't think we should be determining the criteria ourselves, right? So after this announcement, there'll be a two-week consultation period. But you know, just talk, talk together. We'll share with you guys uh, the different constraints and the, what we, how we think about the airdrop, right? You tell us what you think, and we'll propose something soon, right? Sounds fair? Fair, right? Let's go. Um, yeah, but you know, Let's do it together. OK, so uh, next is the growth airdrop, where I want to reward trading on Jupiter and Solana. And the whole point here is they want to drive, that I think it's a great timing, because there's so much like, really awesome improvement on Solana, right? We know it, but are they, they don't, right? And there are a lot of new tokens that come out, they are really good this time, right? I know a lot of them, they're really good, right? Um, and we should, we should uh, so all we want to do here is very simple, right? We want to um, give the wider ecosystem like one more simple reason to come check it out. Right? Yeah, that's what I want to do. And obviously, we want to grow the uh, user base for Jupyter and Solana as well. On-chain liquidity, let's go. OK, now let's lock, lock token sale. You know, we start the public sale market. We want to be as uh, equal as possible. No white listing or early access. And you'll be locked. So the DAO can decide on the exact lock, unlock date together later. All right. So um, you know, I think, why do we do it this way? Right? Mainly because we are not really concerned about the launch itself. We are all concerned about what happens after the launch, right? So high initial float, you know, we want to have a highly distributed set of stakeholders to build Jupiter together with, right? Um, you know, uh, to launch it with. And we also want a very robust DAO to make sense together. And because the DAO is going to be deciding on really important tokenomic stuff, we actually want to make sure that it's as robust as possible, right? As you have seen in the last two months, if the DAO is not great, uh, problems, you know? Right, so we want to make sure we don't have the problem. Um, yeah, and obviously along the way, right, you know, energize the ecosystem, right, you know, get, get more investment in, get more users in, get more capital in, right, you know, create more momentum for ecosystem tokens, you know, and obviously create a really focused Jupe community, right, to improve Solana together. Okay, um, so that's Jupe, right, um, and like uh, to all the community members and users uh, who use us, we love you, right, you know, and want to build the next phase of Jupiter together with you. Right. Thank you. All right, OK, so the next initiative we want to um, uh, uh, announce is Jupiter Start. So Jupiter Start is a year-long initiative right, to really help great new projects win on Solana. And along the way, right, we want to reinvent the totally broken token launch mechanics that we see today. Right? And in doing so, you know, we want to help establish Solana right, as the most trusted ecosystem in crypto. Right? And then I think it's going to be huge if you do that. So um, hey, sorry, I missed the slide. Haha, <laughs> but it's a slide. Um, so Jupiter, so Jupiter Start is a technical and community platform, right? There'll be three main components, right? Token Spark, where we're going to educate everyone about new tokens. So if you're launching a new token and you think you're awesome and you want to know about it, tell us, you know, we'll figure out. And then the launch pad, I want to make one that actually works, right? For the long-term health of the ecosystem, right? Uh, and thirdly is the uh, public seating, uh, which is we want to help uh, communities get involved in new projects very early on, right? And work with them side by side, right? Way before the token. So, um, you know, why Jupiter? So, uh, you know, Jupiter.ag is the default destination for traders. Uh, we think the community and user base you're building is highly synergistic, you know, to new projects. And we want to uh, have the Jupe down to make decisions together, right? To avoid a lot of the weird conflict of interest issues, right, that we see in other projects. Uh, so, the ethos. Okay, so 100% transparency. So, um, no weird opaque decision making. Uh, it will be focused on long term health of the ecosystem and not the hype die, hype die, hype die. You know, I think that cycle of hyping and dying, I think it's very bad, 
not just for Solana, for crypto, right? So we want to change that, right? And thirdly, it's a, a very clear alignment of interest. So, um, you know, um, there is no, I think, so no more of that. You need token A to buy token B. That kind of stuff is weird, you know? And then uh, lastly, it's like uh, we want to help projects build real users and community, right? Not the, not the influencer launch. I think whereby they build a one-day community, right? You know, <laughs> communities for one day, launch and die, you know? So no, no, we're not doing that. So anyway, we think that if we can do that, right, it will be a really good thing, not just for Solana, for crypto. And we can't do this alone. It's a very hard problem, right? So we know there's a lot of experts out there, community experts, you know, ecosystem experts, token experts. So let's work together, you know? Yeah, let's do it. Um, and make, if we do that, then we can make Solana the most trusted ecosystem, I think. All right, so next one is Jupyter Labs, where uh, we are going to announce like, you know, two new things we're working on, right? And we want to build the DeFi protocols together with everybody, right? So the first one is the Perks Training Protocol, and the beta is available on Jupyter.org today. So mm, check it out. Yay, let's go, let's go. Perks, yeah, palm, let's go. All right, so LP, so, so it's a GMX style model, nothing new there. So um, LPs can uh, do, there's, there's no liquidation risk. They learn from trading fees, swap fees, IPNL. Traders do 100x leverage uh, with your price impact, trade using token. And for Solana, I think, uh, and, uh, um, for Solana, I think every single, all the assets in the pool, right, are integrated, uh, will be available for trading, right? So any asset in the pool will also deepen the liquidity for Solana as well. It's already integrated with Jupyter, right? So um, yeah, you know, if you do a swap, it's very quite likely that the assets are already routing through that system. Cool, yeah. Uh, it's in beta, check it out. Um, next is that we are, on a, um, you know, we are the, uh, we're proposing a, a, a leverage stake stablecoin, Solana. Uh, 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 we are proposing a leverage stake so stablecoin, right? Um, so the way it works is very simple, right? So you put so in the protocol, like any other things. The so will go into a leverage so position because we think that is probably the best way to do truly decentralized U, right? And the U will so the U will go to the user. So as a, as a stablecoin holder, you don't pay interest, right? But you get U. Right? And then it will also part of it also go to the protocol token. So protocol token have, can in turn be used to increase the protocol stability and capital efficiency of the protocol as well. So in doing so, we want to solve three, we want to aim to solve, um, try, try, try to solve three problems, right? The U problem, the protocol stability problem, and the capital efficiency problem, right? Um, yeah, so we'll work on that and, you know, um, love feedback. Um, this is also a really good example of something that's only on Solana because you need to have the very easy stick so conversion. Right, that's very important, right? I don't want to demo earlier. And second thing is that this will cost a very high, uh, you, you, you require a lot of transactions to run the background, you know? So if your transaction cost is expensive, you can't do it, you die, right? So, um, you know, it's only possible in Solana. So yeah, a stable coin that's OPOS, let's go. <laughs> All right, so for, so, for every, so for every of these uh, lab projects, right, the, the thing is there's three constituencies. Firstly, you want to improve it together with the user. Uh, the Jupyter community to improve that support. And you know, there are so many experts in the Solana ecosystem, right? You know, Durden, Shuju, R R89, you know, uh, Topo. I mean, I can't name a lot of people, but whatever. You know, you guys know you're there. Um, yeah, work together. Let's do it together, right? And obviously, the incentives will also be aligned as well to facilitate this, you know? All right. So, in summary, right? What are the companies of crypto, right? Too few users, right? Too few use cases, too many rocks, right? Problems, right? But at Jupyter, we don't see problems. We see opportunity, right? So, yay, let's go. So we think opportunity is this, right? We think that opportunity is that the Solana can actually be the most used, most useful, and most trusted blockchain, right? And, and, I, and actually, the, going back way back right, to my first slide, where we say we double down, and there's a reason, because we think that Solana is the only uh, ecosystem that has the technical basis, the strength of the ecosystem, and also the hard lessons. I mean, you don't, you don't improve unless some things you can't learn on paper, right? You have to go through that cycle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, think, uh, I think Solana is probably uh, you know, the only chain that actually um, understands that cycle really well, right? Yeah, so yeah, you know, um, Jupyter also help, right? So with Jupyter, we want to drive more on-chain users and usage. With Jupyter Start, we want to kind of drive more use cases and retail trust, you know? And with Labs, we want to you know, contribute like, more awesome DeFi protocols for the space. Um, yeah, and along the way, maybe we can build a future, right? You know, <laughs> we can build a future that we don't need sexes anymore, right? We can build a future where crypto is actually useful, and we can build a future where you know my mom can be proud of me for working in crypto, you know, versus eh, crypto, eh, you know. So that's my personal goal, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, uh, in summary, you know, let's grow the pie together, and we all get pie. We're all happy, you know. I love pie, pumpkin pie, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, and then uh, community consultation, jupyter.ag slash green, check it out. 
right? Um, you know, two weeks of consultation period where we go through the plan and discuss everything, discuss the airdrop mechanics, right, with everybody. And yeah, um, that's it. And thank you everyone for the support. Really appreciate it. And let's do it, guys. Let's go. <laughs>